Welcome to Words to My Face. Um, tonight's show is actually just a little bit of a different show. I usually would go through the three topics that we have, talk about the headlines in the intro, but no, well, we have one topic that spans multiple topics, if that makes any sense. But this is our rundown of Comic-Con 2017. So go ahead and hit the upvote if you like what we're doing here. Uh, stick around. Hope you enjoy the ride. And I, I, I don't know. My intro is all thrown off because I, yeah, I don't have yeah. many topics. Hit the upvote before you see the, the video, like right now. It's clearly right now. <laughs> right now, we've got you already. The first it's few gonna seconds. be. It's gonna be good. That's how yeah, good. This I know. Intro I know. Was. I already told you how little I prepared for this show, and I know it's gonna suck you in already. So yeah, yeah. Go ahead and fade me out. Brandon. And now you're back, Brian. And we're already back. But what's going on, everybody? Welcome to Words from My Face. My name is Brian. With me, as always, producer extraordinaire Brendan. You. And we are the one and only home of the Chewbacca Chainsaw. <laughs> And this is our regularly scheduled not to be on scheduled night. Yes. And we're early for once. This is not nah, a late a day. Problem. We didn't push it back. We pushed it up a day. That is rare. We pushed it up a that day. That is incredibly that's, rare. Oh, my gosh. That's like an albino lobster. Apparently, that's like a one in two million chance to find an albino lobster or something like that. So that's what to a Monday show is. It's an albino lobster. What about I don't know. I wonder if they taste different. I, I imagine they wouldn't taste as good. I don't I know. I would think that, yeah, they don't have as much. Well, I don't know. You don't eat their shell, which is where the pigment is anyway. So, I don't know. Yeah. Mm. 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 Hey, let us know. If it. you've had albino lobster, does it taste better? Or is it poison? I don't much, know. And how much more expensive is it? Like, that'd be crazy. Like, right? I, oh, I don't know. But yeah, it is entertainment night tonight. And really, we have one entertainment topic that will span a billion entertainment topics. That's why we decided to do it. We're going to give you a Comic-Con rundown. Con that happens every year, which is San Diego. Um, yeah, so uh, let's jump right into things and let's talk some Comic Con. Yeah, Comic Con. Brendan, what? what are you forgetting? Hey, what are Brian, you forgetting? <laughs> what about your baby oh. love life? <laughs> oh, what a surprise! Well, we weren't doing movies, so I was like, I don't know. <laughs> well, I mean, we still got to start it off with a but Brian. What about your baby love okay, life? Well, Brian, well, what about so, your baby love life, Brian? Do you have an actual right, so story for us for once? I have not. A, it's not a good story, but it's a story. So this past weekend, I was going to see my buddy's band again. I see them every weekend. And you weekend. had a pie in your face. I, whew, that would be a great story. That would be a great story. But uh, no, no, no. So we were sitting there um, at this place by the uh, the new MGM resort in uh, Maryland, right outside of D.C. And uh, actually met Donovan McNabb. Uh, he hey, was nice. actually at the dinner and uh while the guys were playing and after he was finished and eating I, I walked up to him I was like, hey how's it going mr nab he's like i was like it's really nice to meet you he shook his hand biggest hands oh my god that guy's got huge hands like engulfed my hands right and i'm not a small guy i'm six foot three he engulfed my hands like it was it was pretty funny and i was like hey man the, the band would love to take a photo with you if that'd be cool with you he's like i was like i know you're about to leave though and they're up there playing and they just finished the song and he's like, yeah, yeah, that's cool. I was like, I can go stop him right now if you want me to to, to get take that photo. He's like, yeah, if you wouldn't mind. So I was like, all right, guys, get off the stage. We got to take a photo of Donovan McNabb. And so I said for the band, but of course I jumped in it too. Yes, I'm not part of their band, but um, I was going to be in that photo. Up. I arranged it. You're their Photos. official interviewer. I, I was going to, yeah, I will be of one of these days, one of these days. Um, and then, you know, said goodbye to Donovan Mapp when before he left. Very nice guy, very humble, very, he, he was just, he was very sure, no problem. I'll take a photo with you guys. So that was really cool. And so we're at this bar though. So after Donovan Mapp leaves, he left at like 11, 1130. It was, it was kind of dead. I mean, it, it wasn't a bad place. It was a nice spot that had good food, but it was kind of dead. And I was kind of just like sitting there. Like I really didn't have anybody to talk to. It was just me by myself pretty much. And then all of a sudden about 12, 1230, wait, wait a second, uh, I look over, Brian, before you go into this, I thought the whole Donovan McNabb story was going to be your uh, baby love life. Like, you fell well, for no, Donovan no. McNabb, and then he was like, nah, man, Definitely I'm out of here. <laughs> Fly to your face. And I was like, eh, well, it's, that's how everybody does nah, me. It was but no, no, he no. threw it from across the room and landed straight on your face. Because you know, yes. because he is a quarterback, he can do that. He's got that. He's got that. So, but uh, yeah, no. So like, nothing's happening. It's like twelve thirty. I, I kind of given up hope. Like literally, nobody was really there, and it wasn't my buddy's band's fault. I think it was just kind of the venue. But that's neither here nor there. Um, and then all of a sudden, there's uh, I kind of look up at the stage, and the lead singer's looking at me while he's in the middle of a song. One of the other guys was singing, and he's like, uh, 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 
And I'm like, what's he looking at? And I look over and there's this gorgeous girl standing over there. I was like, and he's like, go talk to her. I was like, well, I think I'll take this opportunity. And I ended up going to talk to her. She's really, really cool. And um, she dances very, very well. A lot better than me, I, I, I must say. Um, got her number. And hopefully I will be seeing her again sometime. So who knows? Okay. Who but, knows? But, but who that's knows? Maybe love life. It was really about Donna McNabb right there. That, that's, again, still in the maybe realm. So okay. who knows? Who knows? But okay. But let's keep on rolling. Let's talk some Comic Con. So it's going to be a really interesting um, format. I'm literally just going to look up the biggest stories out of Comic Con 2017, and we're just going to go through it in no particular order and talk about it. So let's kick things off and let's talk about the Stranger Things. Uh, came out. Now, Stranger Things will be coming out right around Halloween this year. That is, if you don't know what Stranger Things is, you're crazy. You have a Netflix subscription because everybody in America does, it seems like, or at least you have access to one. So go watch season one. It's amazing. And they really kind of just showed off a little bit more of the kids, what they're going to be getting into, and that they're really going to be up in the ante. Um, if you thought the Upside Down was crazy, it looks like it's going to almost be invading our world this time. So they're really going to go uh, pretty crazy with this one. So I'm looking forward to Stranger Things Season 2. We'll talk a little bit more in depth about this at another time. But Stranger Things is one of my favorite shows out of Netflix in the past couple of years. And they make great stuff. By the way, did you know Marco Polo was canceled for Season 3? What? I, I, I really did not really know that. Upset. We didn't talk about this before. Yeah. And I am actually... Yeah. They left it on the cliffhanger. Like, like, right when you're like, oh, yeah. man, the things are going to happen now. Like, we think and that already happened, but it could, you're like, big thing. Everyone's dying. Yeah. Everyone. And that wasn't really Comic-Con news. That was just I had been looking up stuff and found out that Marco Polo season three was I'm canceled. Not, so, I'm surprised. So I guess it didn't do well. I guess we were the only ones that liked it. I I really enjoyed season two, especially season one was a little bit slow, but it, it was great. It had some really good actors. Benedict Wong was amazing. Some of the other guys that were in it, especially season two, it just ramped it up. And it was just so, oh, there's so much backstabbing and, and political and, savviness. It was well, so good. And, and it was so complex with these. You, you got this sense of, yes, it's a fictionalized show, but you get kind of the sense of these are real, like, historical characters that, that are nuanced yeah. of mm -hmm. – you know, especially with the uh, um, what's his name, the Khan. It's like you want to like him in various parts, and then you realize, but, but no, he actually is a stuff. horrible, terrible guy. <laughs> yeah, he's like, <laughs> hey, you're you're like, hey, he's not so bad. He lets people do. Oh, did he just do that? Oh, bad man. Bad, Ooh, that's bad also man. been essentially his policy forever. It's not like this is a turning point. He's he's no. done terrible, terrible things all not throughout. He has a reputation for a reason. Yeah, Even but every now and then he tricks you into thinking he's good, and then you're like, "No, bad man, bad, they, bad man." So that they bring out though that that nuance of him and of, of other characters, and you're almost like, "Well, yeah, this guy's betraying, him, but you know, they're, they're all kind of crappy people." That's just the the intrigue at the top. They're they're vying for power. Yeah, they learn. I, I don't know. It was, it was a good right, show. That wasn't Comic Con. It was a good show. That, that, that wasn't Comic Con news, but I just thought I'd throw that out there. It wasn't Comic Con news, but it was good. But uh, so let's keep on rolling through some Comic Con news. Uh, so Ben Affleck was at one of the panels there, um, and he assured all of the fans that he is going to be coming back as Batman for the Batman solo movie. Because there's been a lot of speculation. Once he dropped out of writing it and directing it, people thought, eh, well, that's what the rumors, we reported on it too, because yeah. rumors though, um, that he wanted out of the whole project together, all together. And, and this is his one of his quotes from there. It says, let me be very clear. I am the luckiest guy in the world. Batman is the coolest part in any universe, DC <laughs> or Marvel. So, um I mean, he's not too wrong. Batman is pretty awesome. I wouldn't Batman say the is, coolest, but at least he's in the pretty last, darn awesome. I would say in the last 20 years or so, maybe even the last 15 years, Batman has seemed to become the the favored superhero. Like, I would say sometime before then, at one point, Superman was. At another point, I would say Spider-Man yeah, but I never was. liked Superman. Yeah, Spider-Man for a while. I think yeah. Superman before our time was, was a big favored uh guy yeah it's true yeah uh, not even but just i think movies, batman right has become so big because it's because not necessarily trilogy, about the but brawn, it's also like about that. his brains and and he's the he's the one yeah i guess it's, if you had to give batman a superpower it'd be called it it's he's got billions of dollars so like that is you can do a lot with a billion couple billion dollars so yeah. let's let's and not he does do a lot a couple billion dollars. uh yeah th that's where all the gadgets come from so no but, mistakes here yeah that is part of it but yeah so although um, some of his versions he doesn't even use gadgets but 
the versions we we know of now, he definitely uses lots of gadgets. So. All about the gadgets, yeah. yeah. So, but also about his brain. I, I mean, that is something I respect. He figures things out. He thinks ten steps ahead. He has contingency plans for everything. He's um, also so, you know, a master. He's a very skilled at very many things. In fact, yes. So that was pretty cool. And now to coincide with that, we also got a new trailer for Justice League at Comic Con, and it was pretty cool. It kind of showed off. A, a little bit more uh, the roles for the characters. They had a lot more of Aquaman in there. They kind of had him swimming through. They showed off the villain. I can't remember what his name is going to be, but he's going to be there. Gal Gadot looks just spectacular as Wonder Woman. In all accounts, I still haven't seen Wonder Woman. I don't know what I'm doing. I need to watch that movie. But uh, she's a spectacular Wonder Woman. Um, we had more, a little more Cyborg. Um, but they they also showed out more moments that almost made it feel more similar to the Avengers because uh, they had their serious moments and then they had their comic relief. It seems like Flash will be the comic relief. At one point he goes in the trailer mm. like, which, you guys have done battle. I've never done battle. I've just kind of pushed people and ran away. <laughs> so which, um, it will be interesting. The, it is a cool for all the characters, I think Flash does make uh, the most sense as a comic relief character. I think that's how he's kind of played up in the, um, I don't know about in, in the comics, but in the, uh, animated Justice League show. He was always like more of the jokester. I, I I want to say he's like the Spider-Man character, the witty and, and joking yeah, that, character. That seems yeah, fair. Cl the closest you would say to that. Um, yeah, I mean, just to parallel that. Yeah. He, you know, sm uh, you know, smart ass kind of guy. Um, mm -hmm. crack and everything the more and more i see from this the the justice league movie the more and more i'm thinking it's going to be a good movie because uh, especially after wonder woman came out and dceu said hey we can actually put out good movies don't worry about our batman versus superman which some people liked i didn't really like too much but um it, it's gonna be it's gonna be we can put out quality movies yeah. and this hopefully will be the next step in that and then we'll have the batman solo movie and then we have you know cyborg all those guys are going to get their own movies uh, i'm sure aquaman flash uh will get their own spin-offs that will be their solo movies um and so it, it's a good sign it's on the up and up and so i'm happy now, for that because i do like those comics well now, I, I don't really read comics not but I like necessarily those my opinion clearly not your opinion um but i did i was hearing some mixed reactions to the new trailer. A lot of people were saying that the first trailer was better and mm -hmm. it was unusual to see it kind of maybe a mediocre or slightly going down trailer as we get closer. They, I just they're... think they tried to focus on different aspects. The first trailer was about them trying to get everybody together. The second trailer was kind of about, okay, they're going to show off their powers and they're kind of giving you little glimpses of what these people will do with their powers. So I, I kind of see it as two different trailers, but maybe, yeah, maybe the first one was a better yeah, setup for I, a trailer. I, I think know. some people were kind of concerned that maybe it, it looked like, as, as someone put it, at like a bad Jack... Um, S Snyder movie, Zack Snyder movie. Um, but mm. he's not really involved at this point. He did direct things going into this, so I could see where his um, influence, influence should, should be, be yeah. still be there. But Joss Whedon has really taken over this yeah. after since then, and he did Avengers so well that I have I have a lot of faith that these guys will have the ship righted and it'll be moving in the right direction. So I'm looking forward to the DCEU coming releases, and hopefully they get better and better because you know what? Um, we are heading towards a fatigue of superhero movies and it'll happen real fast because both Marvel and DC look like they're going to be putting out three, maybe four movies a year. And then that's if we don't get any other comic groups jumping into things. So uh, yeah, we will be hitting that wall pretty soon, but I have a feeling we're about four or five years away from that wall. So go ahead and pump them out while you can before yeah. that wall comes. Yeah. I would say so. the, the only thing that really concerns me at this point with, uh, with justice league well, I mean, there's there's plenty of things that concern me because the previous movies, other than apparently Wonder Woman, have not been great. Um, the one other movie, Batman vs Superman, Suicide Squad, their Superman, oh, yeah, Suicide Squad, be, was not Batman v yeah. Superman. Wasn't there another Superman movie that was supposed to be in there? Oh yeah, yeah, Man of Steel. Yeah, that yeah, yeah that was mediocre too. Yeah, so I don't yeah. Know. Um, but other than that, uh. It does seem, and I think we talked about this before, that they're trying to push in a lot of new characters with this because they're they're not front loading with uh, origin stories like Marvel did. They're just have they just have a few origin story yeah. movies, and they're and introducing they came a out. lot of characters, a lot of big characters in Justice League all at once. Which when they first they started with the Justice that? League thing, that's kind of what they said they were going to do. They were going to do a very similar take on what Marvel did, but instead of setting up the characters and then joining them together, they're going to bring them all together and then 
like so everybody's setup is going to be justice league movie and then they're going to break apart and have their solo movies and then probably come back together for a justice league two and three and whatever else they want to do um so it was it was a different take on it and i hopefully it'll work out and we'll have a good man of steel was really like the kickoff of that stuff and yeah. and then batman versus superman kind of introduced batman to that realm suicide squad yeah i didn't really like that one so let's not talk about that one even yeah. though there's going to be a suicide squad too so uh, 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 uh. um but let's keep on rolling. And uh, now Steven Spielberg showed off his newest movie, Ready Player One. I don't know if you know too much about this one. So it's based off of the 2011 book uh, where humans are in like a dystopian future and they, they all jump into a virtual world and it takes place with like a kid we, who's we talked kind of going through it. Like there was rumors about We this talked about that movie. Yeah, about. we talked about this movie a while back. And so they showed off a trailer and apparently got a stand-in ovation at Well, Comic-Con, it's Steven so. Spielberg stuff, so. Yeah. It is Steven Spielberg. And it's a trailer. Like if you can't cut a decent trailer, you even off of a horrible movie there's something which which know. we've talked about before how uh king arthur did not look it, mm-hmm. it, it yeah. had some questionable things and it's it looked like okay but questionable and it's like uh, if you can't make the the trailer look great you're, you're gonna have some problems there every once in a while there is a movie that has a bad trailer because the marketing team just doesn't get the movie or whatever and the movie is actually mm-hmm. spectacular but not not that often more likely it's the other way around yeah, so that was that. Uh, then we got some talk about some two cartoons. Now, one of them we already did a show on, the reboot of DuckTales. They showed off a little bit of footage from that. Um, we also got word that Nickelodeon's going to be rebooting Rocco's Modern Life. Uh, oh, I had heard TV that they movie. were going to bring back uh, that they were bringing back Rugrats. I didn't hear about Rocco's Modern Life. Oh, maybe Rugrats. Well, it's a TV movie for the, the Rocco's Modern Life TV movie, so okay. they're going to bring out a movie. Now, I was never a huge fan of Rocco's Modern Life. They did have a couple episodes I liked, but I I, I don't know. I'll, I'll say, I, actually, Rocco's Modern Life was my favorite Nickelodeon show, but so, I yeah. do believe that was unusual for a child my age. And I, I found out later, I, I didn't get a lot of the, the stuff, but uh, it was one of those shows kind of like Ren and Stimpy that – try to push the envelope and slip in a bunch of stuff that uh normally should not is not allowed for for children's shows um some a little bit more advanced humor in certain places um but they did it i I enjoyed it what i got of it i i really liked i remember so that that's cool that they're, they're bringing something of it or making a movie for it Mm, yeah so yeah and so that'll be that'll be interesting to see those come out so one is disney one is obviously nickelodeon but hey you know cartoons always got to talk some cartoons uh then some of the big things from marvel we got we did get uh defenders trailer uh that is coming out in august so i can't wait for that they showed off a little bit more footage i want to say they actually aired the first episode too if you were lucky enough to get into that panel so a lot of, i've heard good reactions from that so x i can't wait for defenders to come out it looks so amazing they the trailer has more of a sigourney weaver as the bad guy they, they kind of show a little more direction and i, I this that show just looks spectacular I, all I, the other ones were great this one looks even better uh I now another right, trailer the they way, showed us i believe it huh? was they did show the the first uh episode ign if you were there and lucky enough to be there so yeah so if you're lucky enough to be there you saw the first episode uh now they did also give a trailer that they didn't show to the public um of the punisher which comes out in november and everybody said that that punisher looked like he was going to be brutal and it was going to be right back to where he was of course that's leaked somewhere by now like i don't know why they Uh, they bother i i do know why because it actually creates more hype when they do these exclusive oh yeah yeah. uh, well i did i did see slash not see wink wink the leaked trailer for avengers 3 the infinity war trailer and um after not seeing it just hearing about it oh no i um, snuck in and watched someone's advertisement it's true it's true yeah i mean I, yeah but after like, oh, seeing no, that someone's putting our advertisement to other places <laughs> that we didn't tell. <laughs> how dare you advertise for us without us letting you know you can i um, yeah i don't understand that the keeping it secret thing I, but i think um, it's, it's all just a, I can, a gimmick to make people want I, it more but i guarantee you i guarantee you either captain america or iron man will die or both guaranteed that is my words to my face guarantee one of those two characters is dead, if not both. Number one, they don't have any movies slated past Avengers 4 or anything past. They, they already hit their trilogies, both of those groups. Number two, those are two of the highest paid, especially Robert Downey Jr. in this universe right now. And Marvel has not been shy about saying, hey, we want to cut costs on some of these movies. Um, so Number uh, three, I, I, uh, Captain America does die in the, the comic version of um, Civil War. So 
makes yeah, sense. Yeah, but then he comes back weirdly, so... But whatever. But, but, but I also... guarantee you, I'm going to give the words to my face official guarantee that one of those two, if not both of them, will die in Avengers 3. Another good And reason... then probably in Avengers 4, they'll go bring back somehow. Yeah. Uh, another good reason for one of them or both of them dying that I was, I was actually talking about and thinking about today, um, mm-hmm. if they don't reboot the whole series or whether or not they reboot the whole series, as we talked about on our last episode, which you can talk when we talked about Avengers 4. But just no problem, over. these guys, the, the actors are getting older, but also we've dealt with the character development for these guys in enough movies now. So yeah, there's no way to develop anything you can do. What are we going to see them do? We can see them turn into just an action movie because they've already done all their character development, which I don't think we yeah. want. They want because they know superhero movies will fall off if they become purely just action movies. Mm-hmm. Um, but or or like so right now, let's just kill them off. Kill them off because this is the time to do it. You've seen enough character development with these yep. particular... With and, I, and I can also Iron see Man. Thor dying. Actually, I'm going to throw Thor in there, too, because he's not slated for any more movies. Yeah, Thor, I, I, Thor I Captain America, or Iron Man will die. Because they haven't done as much with him. But and Iron They Man, had three movies with him. Ragnarok's coming out. That's true. But, but that's Iron Man movie. has had three solo movies, plus is one of the ma- biggest characters in all the Avengers movies. And shows up in some and of the other movies. he popped up in Civil War. He popped up in Spider-Man. Yeah, he's popped up in a lot. He's and kind he's of like the type. a major character in most of the movies that he's he's in there. And you see him developing in some way. So, again, like, you've done all the development there is. So, yeah. or, I mean, yes, yeah. you can try and do more. But I, I, I'm getting bored of it. It's, it's time for that character to go away or yeah. to be rebooted. So, But then also talking about they did drop a another trailer for Thor Ragnarok. And this one kind of gives the movie a little bit of a different tone my favorite part of it it was hilarious apparently thor is going to start talking in this um so that'll be cool because in the comics he does that in a lot of the cartoons they have thor talking because bruce Banner gets a little more control or he kind of shares it with you mean hulk 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 yeah hulk hulk will talk at bruce banner as hulk the big green guy will talk because it was funny we'll start talking no, oh, I meant Hulk. Sorry, talking. Sorry, uh, but Thor saying, and Hulk like, are talking. Thor was talking the whole time. There, there's a scene where Thor and Hulk are talking, and uh, he's like, "Oh, we fought." Hulk goes, "Oh, we fought." He's like, "Yes, yes, we did." He's like, "Oh, I don't remember." He's like, "Oh, I did. I win? No, no, no. I beat you badly." <laughs> like <laughs> Thor's like, you know. So those two are two of my favorite characters together ever since Avengers one. So I am really happy to see that those guys are going to be linking up. Then they also showed a lot of Loki. He will be in there, and then there's that other character I can't remember her name right now. Um, they showed off a lot of her. So it'll be it'll be fun to see that. Also, Kate Blanchett looks like she's gonna be an amazing villain in this movie. So I think Thor Ragnarok will be by far in a way the best Thor. Now the first two Thors weren't great. The first one, one of my least favorite movies. The second one got better. I'm hoping the third one just takes it to that next level and puts it up there with the Captain America two or three or Iron Man one or you know, Avengers, any of those. So hopefully we'll see that movie really elevate it. And then they'll kill off Thor in the next one. Um, but again, talking about the Avengers if new war thor did show up in the the trailer like he just slams into the guardians of the galaxy ship while they're driving through space so like get ready for some fun times with that one mm-hmm. so we'll see where those those come from um but those were my big stories of comic-con brendan uh, did you have any that you wanted to talk about as well looks like there's going to be a another season confirmed now of west world 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 season two season one was pretty good oh well no i think they just showed off the trailer i thought confirmed was a long time ago because i want to say yeah season i think two it was starts just, we, we started seeing some things about that and people were talking about that yeah, you know, robot crazy. apocalypse coming coming yeah in. that looks pretty awesome that really does look awesome and that was one so of the big uh big shows of the last season of shows um mm-hmm. really pushing things Iron Fist also has a slate for a season two. Um, yeah, I'm they not, announced that a while back, but I'm yeah, I think they too, totally confirmed it. Recently. Yeah, but I'm, I mean, I'm not too surprised that it's coming because I think they want to keep pushing all of those Marvel shows. Even though it, 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 didn't it didn't do as didn't well, do as well. They're, I bet you they're hoping that a lot of the Defenders uh, hype, him being in the Defenders, will help push that forward a little bit more, and so you'll be a little more attached to the character. So maybe you didn't give Iron Fist, because he did a lot of developing. Yes, in the beginning he was annoying, and he did some really weird things in the middle, but by the end it was a character that you wanted to keep seeing, in my opinion at least. You know, So I, I'm hoping that the Defenders will help push that more towards the front, and people will be like, oh, okay, maybe he wasn't as bad as we thought, and we'll give him more of a shot for the Season 2, because Hey, he was good. I liked it. I liked it. All right, keep going, Brandon. Which what other stories do you want to talk about? Young Justice Outsiders art reveals Ooh. new designs. Ooh. 
I do like that because Young Justice season one, I, wa- I remember watching that on Netflix and being blown away by that and just being like, oh, my gosh, this is really good. I thought it was a kid's show. You know, Cartoon Network surprises you sometimes, um, but it was it was really, really good. And then season two kind of just changed everything. They grew them all up. They changed how everything was going. And they really they they developed these kids who started off as these sidekicks and they made them into the superheroes that we all wanted to see them be. And then. And then everybody thought it was over after season two because I think, you know, that was when I think Cartoon Network canceled it and somebody else came in. And now we have, I believe Netflix is really spearheading the season three and I can't wait to see what direction they go because they did such a spectacular job with season one and two. I, I'm just so excited about season three because these are newer characters. I mean, these are characters, yeah, you're familiar with. They had Rob and they turned him in Nightwing. They brought in Tim Drake. They have Wonder Girl or and, and you know, Super and Superboy and and all these other littler characters, but they really give them their own personalities. And it, it's nice to see them branch out a little bit in the comics uh, fr- from the, the main heroes. So here's one that's be- – it's not really news so much as – providing something we've already talked about a bit that we both are interested in um so the snes mini was on display it seems at comic-con and i still can't pre-order it uh you know there were pre-orders that that went up i hear for walmart a little bit ago and they sold out immediately Uh. and target said that they'll have pre-orders at some point soon and amazon others will should have it at some point Uh, but yeah expect them to to sell out pre-orders quick as anything um but also looking at the pictures, I, I was hearing this before. We did, we were speculating about this before. Um, but it appears the controller is the attachment control. The does still use that uh, the the Wii's um, connector. So it is a new Wii connector thing. Okay. But what's going on is they um, where the controller ports are on it that look like the uh, old SNES controller ports. It, there's actually a panel that flips down to reveal the, uh, the, uh, the okay. spots, and I can see that now. Ah, they faked us out good. They faked us out good. Yeah, but in the so. the pictures I can see now from it, it's yeah that that's definitely what's going on. Which you know, up or down, that kind of means if I want to use it for that might mean a multi tap is more likely, but at the same time means I need to get that SNES Classic if I want to try and play some uh, three player. Um, uh, Secret of Mana, which I guess they didn't, they didn't say whether they're going to support that functionality or not. It obviously they'll have two player, oh. but three player that, that's gonna be a question. Let's let's fingers crossed. Fingers Actually, crossed. we don't even know if they're gonna sell an extra other uh, extra controller. I believe it comes with, with two controllers. Yeah, because it comes with them. two controllers, so they might not sell. I'm sure you could get one on the third third party market. Might as well. That's true. If yeah, it uses no. the well, also if it uses the uh, the Wii controllers, I think with the the previous one, you could always use the the classic controller with the the NES Mini. Okay. So you probably can. I could probably just pick up um, uh, a classic controller that's used you know, or a classic Pro controller otherwise, and which are it. almost identical to the yeah. S- they just they have an analog stick. Well, <laughs> yeah, so. yeah, so it's pretty much the same thing. But yeah, I can't wait to get that pre order. Yep. Yeah. All right, what else you got for us, Brennan? I don't know, Brian. That's pretty much all I got. There's a bunch of stuff about Spider Man. Everyone likes Spider Man. Yeah. Man, but, Spider-Man. But whatever. I'm Homecoming sure is, is that out now? Yeah, it's out. It came out in the beginning set on the seventh. So it's been out for a while. Oh, Two weeks, go. three weeks almost. Yeah. Oh, and one thing I want to just a side note, we did a story about Valerian and the City of a Thousand Planets. I thought it was gonna be spectacular. It still might be, I haven't seen it myself. But it totally bombed in the box office. It, mm. it was like a production budget of like two hundred nine million. It made twenty seven million its first weekend. So, oh, I, I still think it's probably underrated. And people, it's just a new IP, and people just don't know about it. Uh, and I hope it gets a little more traction than it has. But it's not looking good there, so far. I think that there there had been a little bit of possibly a little bit of controversy over them the naming of it and cutting out. Um, the, the full name to emphasize well, we, we, Valerian. we talked about it yeah i know um but i'm saying yeah. that, that like might Valerian have hurt it the, the girl's name yeah so that was um, kind of messed up i did i did mention that that was kind of messed up way back in the day so i started that controversy and i'll Damn say it. too when i've seen the the trailer i was like well this when we talked about it, it sounded better than necessarily what the trailer showed off so mm-hmm. it could be that it sounds bad. so cool bad it could be it just, those it, bad advertising for something people yeah. most people don't know about very much 
I'm sad to say that, but it looks so cool. Like I am going to watch that movie. It looks so cool. Yeah, so, we'll we'll watch it and bad. find out whether it's uh whether it is good or bad, whether it's an underrated your new hidden gem movie or it it was just it a deserved flop. a bomb. Um, so a yeah. good idea. Is it gonna be the next go John Carter? Who yeah. knows? But looks like we're all out of things to talk about from Comic-Con, so I'm sure we missed a bazillion things. So hit us up. Let us know. Comments down below. What was your favorite thing coming out of Comic-Con 2017 this year? Uh, don't forget to like, subscribe, upvote, follow, whatever you're doing on whatever you're watching, because it's going to be – this video is just going to go up unedited on both uh, YouTube and Vidme this time. So thank you for joining us. As always, my name is Brian. With me, as always, producer extraordinaire, the tyrant, cool Brendan. Yo. And we are out of here. Peace.